What's up guys, it's Nick and I'm back and this is my video about MMA news, what's going on in the world of mixed martial arts and UFC today. Uh, results of the last UFC pay-per-view, BJ Penn versus Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz did win. He just completely destroyed BJ Penn and BJ Penn did announce his retirement at the end of the fight. He said, I quote, I have, two, I have a daughter and another daughter on the way and I don't want to come home like this anymore. So... My hat's off to BJ Penn. BJ Penn, you are an incredible fighter and you are going to be down in history with being the best lightweight and welterweight in the world. Moving on from that, also, um, Nick Diaz has got a title shot to face George St. Pierre. Um, what Dana White said is that Carlos Condon did step down his number one contendership for the title and gave it to Nick Diaz. But if you go online, Carlos Conde is saying that no, he did not say that and Dana White just took his title shot away from him to give to Nick Diaz. I think that's a load of bull because one, Carlos Conde, number one contender, incredible athlete, incredible mixed martial artist and I believe he should get the title shot, not Nick Diaz just because he called him out after his fight with BJ Penn and said, where are you at? George St. Pierre, where's your MF and ass? Yeah, that's what he said. So, I don't agree with it, but it looks like on Super Bowl weekend that it will be Nick Diaz versus George St. Pierre for the welterweight championship of the world. Also going on UFC news, um, Tough Season 14, I believe it is. Yep, t t Tough Season 14 is going strong. The bantamweights and featherweights are incredible. My favorite fighter in that has to be Diego. Diego is an incredible athlete. He finishes fights and gets his job done in that octagon. And If you want to check it out, you can probably YouTube it and find his, his first fight in the house. He completely destroyed his opponent in, I think it was... Like 40 something seconds completely knocked him out and it was over so there you go tough results a little bit of results i think diego is going to win the whole se season but that's just my opinion also anderson silver versus chael son and two will not happen on super bowl weekend as we know of right now there is speculation and we're going out that at tough 15 it will be in brazil which they want to do tough overseas and it's going to be coaches Anderson Silva and coach Vitor Belfort. Now, I cannot wait if this is going to be the season of the Ultimate Fighter and the coaches because Vitor Belfort, as you know, is an incredible MMA art mixed martial artist. He is heavy-handed, explosive, amazing. And then you got Anderson Silva, the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. And I would love to see Anderson Silva coach and show some other younger guys what he has and hopefully make another Anderson Silva in the works in Tough 15 Brazil. So we'll see about that. And yeah. So guys, um, if you have any questions about UFC, if you want to say any comments, etc., leave them down below in a comment or video response. Or you can always tweet me. I'm always on Twitter. Ask my friend, the Ashton J. I'm always tweeting him. He's always tweeting me. He has a blog up about um, NFL predictions and stuff like that. I'll put a link in the description because I read that blog every week he makes it. And that is my bets for the week because he's usually pretty precise on who he thinks going to win. Of course, he better always go for my Philadelphia Eagles. Just saying, Ashton. Just saying. All right, guys. I'm off. I'll talk to you later. Peace off. We live all day, every day. And my prediction for UFC 138 will be next. Alright guys, see you guys later. Peace.